Yo, what is up, Flick Army? It's man, Trav Flick here. And real quick before the video starts, I just need to make a huge announcement. Right now, as this video has come out, my new merch drop has come out. It is the first official This Is Brad Danielson merch that has been created and released. We did have the other shirts before, but we didn't end up selling them because there was a problem with design. And uh, we're finally getting some actual merch out for them. And yeah, it says broken on the front in red letters with a white box behind it. Kind of like a supreme type, but not really. Like it's kind of our own touch, our own idea of it. And just to kind of make the word look better. And it says this is Brad Danielson in red on the back. I think you guys are really going to like it. So if you are interested, I do have some pictures up right here. But if you are interested, please go check all the links in the bio there. Or not in the bio, in the description below. They're all there, and I really appreciate it. I love you all so much. Thank you all for the support recently, and uh, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your man, Chad. It's been a little while since I vlogged. Like the No Shave November, my beard thing, whatever you want to call it, is starting to come in. Uh, it's been a couple days since I vlogged, and I'm going to fill you in on what my last couple days have been like. So today is, I believe, today is the 11th of November, it's Wednesday. Uh, so I, I have been in quarantine since mm, Sunday, I would say. Um, because on Saturday, uh, I went and saw my sister Tanya. You know her, she plays Brad's aunt, and this is Brad Danielson. And uh, she was in contact with someone who had COVID-19. Now, she was unaware when she hung out with me. She didn't, like, know. But she told me on Sunday. And uh, so I got a test on Monday. And I kind of have been just in, secluded in my room. And if I left my room, I would wear a mask. Now, you may be wondering, well, why are you walking around your house without it? Because I got my test results back today. And I am negative. So I'm COVID safe. Uh, I'm going to try and find... Uh, Pretty much, that's the paper. I can't really show it. I couldn't get it to focus on just that part. But I'm negative, guys, so I'm up and going again. I can finally start my life back up. Um, I'm very grateful for that experience, though, because I've never had to... I was never at risk because I never came in contact with anyone who was even nearly close to someone who was uh, positive. So it was really... Um, it was very eye-opening, and it kind of showed that... I think it was kind of a sign to say, hey, you got to start taking this more seriously because even though stuff got better for a little while and we started opening stuff up, like, really need to take it seriously. And it's kind of my message to you is you never know where someone has been and who they've been in contact with. So always wash your hands, wear your mask, try and stay home the most you can because you're going to be better off because if not, you put yourself at risk to have to stop working, stop going to school, whatever the case may be. And I'm very grateful to have that because I got to edit a lot. i um, looking at the positive sides of it. I got to edit a lot. I got to kind of catch up on with myself and with YouTube and get a lot done. And I've just been super motivated, but I just wanted to let you guys know what the case has been. And all the videos that are going to be going up, like the video that is going up on Saturday, the, what's the date on Saturday? The 14th is... A video that was filmed prior to me that situation happening with my sister um the uh video where me and Paige try the coke and pepsi and all that that's going on the second channel or that is already up on the second channel. we filmed the day that it happened but we filmed before we went and saw my sister so we saw my sister after we filmed that video. So, and once we found out, Paige went home, she self-quarantined, I self-quarantined, I got tested, and we're all pretty much safe now, because if, like, so yeah, but I just want to let you guys know that we have been safe and we've been taking precaution. Um, and now I think we're good to get back in business with videos, editing, and all that stuff. So I'm super excited. And yeah, I just want to kind of let you guys in, and uh, we'll get to the rest of the video now. Peace. Oh, I've been feeling kind of weird though guys not physically but mentally um I don't know if I made the right decision with something that I did uh fuck 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 I gotta think about some stuff guys 
I keep just keep having these memories and it's like they're weird though because it's like a memory but I haven't lived it I don't really know what it is if it's a memory or if it's just something my mind is making up I mean I am a some I'm a storyteller but like I feel like I can tell the difference between my actual memories and a character Why did you create me? Why did you create me just to not know? What the fuck am I? Am I a person? Am I a creation? I don't even fucking know anymore. Guys, I don't know what the fuck is going on in my head. I just, I, th I need to get out. I need to just go do, take a walk or something. All right. over there. I don't know, I'm getting these weird memories. Fuck. I just gotta go for meet up with the boys. It's good not to be trapped in a house anymore. This is what I need. I just need to clear my head. That is what I need. Oh, guys, it was so good to get out of the house. I finally took a walk. Uh, my head's a little bit more screwed on now. I know I look like I haven't really left or anything, but my hair dried and then got soaking wet because for some reason in November, it is still like 50, 60 degrees, which is fucking nuts for New England. If you don't know New England though, you know that, or if you do know New England, you know that it could be fucking freezing cold, 10 degrees one day, and then the next day it could be 60, 70 degrees. It's always changing. So even though it's supposed to be fall slash winter, it still feels like summer, which is good and bad because to be fair, it's always nice to have a little bit nice weather, but at the same time, I'm kind of ready for that coolness, you know? But uh, I've just been watching a lot of Unis Honest recently. If you guys don't know that channel, it's gonna be going away soon. Um, and they've just been talking a lot. They always bring up time and how the clock is always ticking and that kind of I kind of connected to that in a, a way like I don't know I just really opening up my eyes and my mind you know it's like one day these vlogs won't be the same and these this channel won't be run the same way and it's just I'm not gonna delete my channel like they're doing their whole own thing but you know like the clock is always ticking and how long do I have as a feature on the channel, you know? You never really know. And that's what you always gotta remember. It's all ending. What the fuck? It's all blurring together. Everything, it's all coming to an end. It's not, it's not something that purely exists. There's a higher power to this. There's, I need to stop the bullshit. I need to stop letting him control me. I'm not him. I'm not fucking him. something I have to tell you and I know this probably sounds cliche or you've probably already heard something like this before and I know you have but I'm not Chad it was probably fucking already obvious enough when I threw the necklace in there I'm done letting this evil control me What the hell?
do you think you're doing, my son? Why would you think it is okay to tell them that you are not Flick? Just because you threw the necklace in does not mean shit. You are supposed to be working on my side, not Flick. You know the time is ticking. You know the end is coming. Now why in the fuck would you think it is a good idea to out yourself? I put you in there as a decoy to help me. And you go and stab me in the back? That is not okay, my friend. I am your creator, and I can take you out of this world just as quick as I put you in. Now you better get back on my side now, or the consequences will be dire.